The Lion King, the live action remake of the beloved Disney classic, which this movie is up for debate and controversy whether this movie is live action or not, whether it be CGI, whether it be live action, photorealism, all that BS surrounding about this movie. And I'm just going to call it the live action version because Disney are just milking these live action version of their Disney classics. And before we talk about this live action version of The Lion King, I would like to talk about the original 1994 animated Disney masterpiece. <sighs> I don't think I've ever expressed my love for this movie on my channel, but growing up, three years, three years old, I watched The Lion King 24-7. I remember having a big clamshell VHS tape, watched this movie over and over and over again. This movie is beloved and cherished by so many people for so many reasons. It was groundbreaking for Disney, it was groundbreaking for cinema at the time. It is so beautiful. It's a beautiful movie. It has a great story, great characters, great songs, great animation. This is just a well round perfect movie. And it has heart. It has energy. It has flavor. It has a sense of personality and identity. The Lion King is just not any other Disney film. This movie is very, very special for many others and me included. This is not just some nostalgia anime in the movie I just grew up watching, this is a great movie. There's just nothing like The Lion King. It has always remained my favorite Disney film, and it will always be my favorite Disney film. Not counting Pixar or Marvel or Star Wars or anything else uh, Disney owns. This alone, this movie, is my favorite animated film. So... With that being said, my question is to Disney, John Favreau, and the crew behind this movie. What the hell is the point of remaking this film? I mean, John Favreau, I get it. You directed The Jungle Book, which so far, this is still the best live-action Disney remake that Disney has done. Because The Jungle Book actually works in live-action. John Favreau, you did an amazing job directing this movie. The Lion King, however, is a whole different story. This is not a film that you should just go ahead and remake because, you know, Disney, they're remaking all their movies, so people love The Lion King, so let's do it again. I'm like, no, there's just certain movies that you do not mess around with. Remaking The Lion King is like, oh, let's remake The Godfather, or let's remake Back to the Future, or let's remake Ghostbuster. Oh, oh, Lord. Why did that movie pop back in my brain? But anyways, we're not talking about that. Disney is just milking their company and their older movies and doing all these live action, soulless and lifeless remakes of their beloved classics. Just like how they did with Dumbo and Aladdin, which those two movies I skipped on seeing and for good reasons as well because like, what is the point of remaking all their movies? Oh, so we can show them to a new generation of kids so they can grow up watching these movies. I'm just like, okay, one, Disney, we've seen these movies already. We can just show it to our kids. We add the VHS tapes, the DVDs, the Blu-rays, the 4Ks, all these older movies. So there's no point of remaking them just for that. Second thing is, Disney, is that you basically have run out of ideas, honestly, of just doing these live-action remakes of movies that you already made 20, 30 plus years before, and is now you're doing these for like the money? Basically, that's what this Lion King remake is made for. Not for the fans, full in a way you can see, but not for the fans, not for the nostalgia audience, not for anything else, just the money. And that's what this movie is. This movie is just a gigantic cash grab that is lifeless, Soulless, no heart at all, no soul, no energy, no flavor, no personality, no identity of itself. Just nothing. Zero. Nada. I'll get back to ranting in a second, but I would be lying if I said that there is nothing in this movie that I didn't like. I liked a good chunk of the stuff that happened in this film. 
a good chunk of stuff that this movie gave us. Like, the visuals, the photorealism for these animals looked spectacular. They were stellar, they were beautiful. I could look at this movie all day long. I wouldn't mind seeing this movie in IMAX just for just the spectacles of it and just the visuals, like, standpoint of it. I wouldn't mind seeing this movie in IMAX, but at the same time, I'm actually reconsidering see this movie again because if I see this movie again, I'm giving Disney more money for this movie that doesn't really need to be made, so, yeah. Also, I also loved me some Timon and Pumbaa. I loved him in the original, and I loved him in this, and my god, Seth Rogen is made to play Pumbaa. He was made for this role, this role was made for him, and hearing Pumbaa laugh with Seth Rogen's voice, <sighs> best thing ever. It was so great to see and hear Mufasa's voice played by, once again, James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones will always be Mufasa. I'm glad that he come back for this character. And I'm glad that they didn't use archive voiceover footage from the original. Even though like some of the dialogue sound just exactly the same like the original. Which I didn't mind honestly because you know I love James Earl Jones. I love Mufasa. Speaking of Mufasa, that big iconic death scene in the original. Which this isn't a spoiler guys. If you guys consider this to be a spoiler, you guys have been living under a rock. The big iconic death scene of Mufasa. I was looking forward to how they're going to tackle that in this movie. I was looking forward to it. And when they got to it. They half-assed it so, so much. Like, I was disappointed like how his death was handled. The execution. And the line delivery. Uh, long live the king. How that was delivered in this movie by Scar. Like, talk about half-ass. Half ass. Speaking of half ass, be prepared was shortened to. Oh my god, I don't know what they did with be prepared in this movie. Like, this was just a half ass version of be prepared. Like, uh, this movie just takes away what made the original Lion King so special, so great. And how it was just like big and bombastic. This is just. Land and it's dry and the line delivery by some of the characters, especially when the lines and stuff that they say is supposed to bring out big emotion and expressions like how they did in the original. Just taken away just, just by this bland, no expression. I know these are realistic looking lions. I get that. I get that this, this, a, this is a live action version of the Lion King. But there are just certain movies, certain animated films, that should not be in live action. Especially since those movies were big and bold and expressive. This just takes away all of that. And I'm and I'm just very hurt by that, honestly. I'm not even going to complain that this is a shop for shop remake and how, like, this scene, this scene, this scene was just like the original. I was expecting that. I didn't have a problem with that. I knew that coming in. What I really was coming in with this movie is that, how are they going to do this? How are they going to make these animated animals for the original film? How they're going to tackle that into live action? How they're going to do, change some stuff in the original animated film? Well, some of the changes I didn't mind, but at the same time, I feel like some of the changes in this movie, some of the added scenes, I'm just like, was that really necessary? Did we really need to see how this happened? Or how that led to that scene? Or this, this, and that. It was like, we didn't really need that. That could have been cut out in the editing room. It did. And, I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know. And, I am also disappointed in the line deliveries by Charles Gambino, a.k.a. Donald Glover, at Simba. Because some, like, some of the dialogue that he said, especially the fact that Simba, in the original Lion King movie, said like some really powerful stuff that showed the emotion in his face. When Donald Glover gives the line deliveries in this movie, I didn't feel no connection towards him at all. Like I said, I get it. These are animals, not actual humans. But in the original Lion King movie, they felt like humans. They felt like real characters, even though they are animals. In this movie, all that is just taken away. They take away, strip away what made that original Lion King movie so special. Even Rafiki 
one of the funniest characters other than Timon and Pumbaa in the original Lion King movie. So I mean, his charisma is kind of taken away in this film. And really, honestly... I don't know what else to say, guys. Other than that, if you love The Lion King, and if you want to see a live-action, realistic, photorealism version of that film, you're probably going to enjoy this. I can get why people can enjoy this movie, why they can enjoy this live-action remake of the original Lion King movie. And I can also get why people can dislike it. Because, honestly, I don't completely hate this movie. I sure as hell don't love this movie either. I'm more in the middle with this film. I'm very split and conflicted. Honestly, at this point, I'm done with the live-action Disney remake, so... Definitely not seeing Maleficent 2. I'm definitely not bothering even watching the live-action Aladdin or Dumbo film. Because I'm um, just... Those movies didn't really interest me at all. I just took with the original animated movies of those. And Mulan looks decent. It does look pretty good. I will say that. But even that, I don't know about seeing. And Little Mermaid and Lilo Stitch and Lady in the Tramp and Hunchback on Notre Dame. Just stop it, Disney. Stop it. I have this. I'm completely, 100% perfectly fine with this movie. And I actually rewatched it for the millionth freaking time yesterday. And it still holds up to this day, 25 years later. And it'll hold up more better than this thing that we got. I don't know what else to say, guys, other than the Lion King 2019 live-action version. All about the big bucks, guys. And I'll even go as far as saying that I'm not even going to give this movie a grade. I'm not grading this movie. I I'm just not. So, yeah, guys, those are my thoughts on the live-action 2019 Lion King or CGI or whatever you want to call this thing. All I gotta say is, guys, don't support these live-action Disney remakes if you're sick of them. Don't go out, don't say that, oh, I'm done with these live-action Disney remakes, then you end up going to see them anyway. Because I honestly should have skipped out on this. Even though this movie might look fantastic in IMAX, it might. I'm still thinking about seeing this movie in IMAX. At this point, I don't really know. Because I'm just done with the Disney remakes. I am completely done. And, yeah, guys, and Disney, go back to the drawing board, please. Just please. So, anyways, guys, if you guys seen the live-action Lion King remake, or, like, or whatever it is, let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. And, as always, guys, if you're new to my channel and you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. And, Akuna Matata.